morning everyone from Leon. Today is my last day. Well, it's actually my last morning. Today we're gonna board the train from Da Nang to Hanoi and it was a 16 hour train ride. If you guys seen my Thailand sleeper train episode, you know that I love the experience. So I had to try it again here in Vietnam. It is also significantly cheaper than a flight. To go from Hoi An to Hanoi, you need to first take a shuttle bus, it's five dollars to go to Da Nang and then from Da Nang, the train station to Hanoi. Before that, I definitely want to pick up some bami and sting buns because it's a 16 hour train ride. <laughs> yeah, let's go do that. Fawn. I wanted to come here, you guys, because I wanted to try the steam bun. So we're gonna get two steam buns, bomb to go. I think that's gonna be good for like five hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It should be good for the whole train ride. Really quick stop at my tailor. So I went to this place and I got two things tailored and then yesterday I decided you know what I think I'm gonna get another one so I gotta pick up my dress <gasps> there it is yeah it's beautiful oh my gosh so cute is it your sister or oh 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 hello <laughs> <laughs> did she's looking at herself in the flip screen <laughs> I went here and I got three dresses tailored. <laughs> that is how magical they are. Each dress was about 400,000 dong, uh, but it really depends on how you want it made. That's about like $17 for US for your own custom made summery travel -y dress. I think they also do they also do menswear here. So if you guys, it's called 76 Clothes Shop. Hey, I'll miss you. Bye. <laughs> oh no, it started raining. wet though and my butt is kind of wet but that was kind of a refreshing ride just kidding it totally sucked <laughs> anyways I'm gonna need I need to pack up my bag and I think my bus is coming soon let's go <sighs> gotta get this raincoat off of me though do I look like big bird bye bye thank you But apparently the train station is just a walk down the street. So we're gonna see. Anyways, my train is in like 40 minutes, so we got a couple, we got a few minutes. Oh, sorry, we got some time. <laughs> Apparently, you type in your booking ID if you booked online in this machine. I asked the information desk and she told me that my train is coming in like a few minutes, but basically there's no sign or anything. Just know the time of your train and when it comes, everybody's going to start boarding. So I'm in coach 12, but coach 12 is not connected yet to our train. <laughs> so we're kind of just all waiting for it right here. Uh, and what happens when you wait? You go and buy snacks. So I just bought snacks. Typical TJ stuff. Here we go, y'all. This is one. I am in two. We are in our little room for the next 16 hours. Let's do a quick tour. Over here, we have a little desk and a night lamp. Right away, it is not clean. Those are bugs and stains. Now my bed sheets. There's also stings right here. There's a little trash can. Oh, there's an outlet right there. That's what the top bunk looks like. There are lights for each bed. All right, first impression. Uh, 
um, pretty dirty. I'm just pretty glad it looks like it's just me in the room for now. <laughs> I booked this at 12go.asia, which is a website I used to book a ton of stuff when I was in Thailand. Yes, they take a commission fee. I actually tried booking on the actual train website for Vietnam. It is not VietnamRailways.com. It is not that one, so don't, don't get tricked. Um, and I couldn't. We couldn't book it with our credit card. We are not sure what's going on. So I went on 12go, and it was $37. Although, if you actually go to the train station, it's about... I think it's about 27 if you actually buy at the train station. Of course, it kind of depends on the time you're traveling to and the different levels. This is a first class sleeper. It's uh, much more roomy than the second class sleeper, which has six bunk in one little room. I have made my little bunk, got my stuff all set up, got this little desk. I'm gonna start cranking away at work. That's like, that's typing on the keyboard what that meant. Train experience in Thailand was definitely much better. I mean, just based on first impression, it was a lot cleaner, but those were the newer train. Um, but you know what? This saves you a night of accommodation. So it departs in the afternoon and arrives really early morning in Hanoi. The best part about this train ride, or so I've heard, is that you can catch some really beautiful views uh, on the way up to Hanoi. And with that, let's start our 16 hour journey, everybody. Cut to travel montage. to bring food when you get on the train because you will get really hungry <laughs> another really frustrating thing is once this like so I've been trying to keep this open because it just ends up locking and I can't get it out and look at this like, it's basically it's basically coming apart I'm locked inside uh, if this is the second time this has happened the door will not open from the inside so somebody from the outside has to come and open it and I would just knock fiercely until someone comes. Well, have you guys taken the train? Let me know how your experience was because it's just not so great so far. because what if there's an emergency happening and the person can't open the door? Two, now at night, I don't want to close the door because I'll just get locked inside. So potentially anyone can just like come in and grab stuff, right? I rarely show myself getting frustrated that I've been trying to open this door for a long time. I was 
pretty mad just just like a couple minutes ago and then it turned pretty funny now. <laughs> I just I just can't believe this is happening. So I'm looking through the slit of the door trying to look for people and I heard a shuffling and I was like, can you open the door? Help! And it just shuffled away. What could it be? A train elf? Mm -hmm. Through the slit. Oh, Xin Xin Zhao. <laughs> Goodness, hallelujah, someone has come by and opened my door. <laughs> I was thinking of all kinds of things. <gasps> Freedom. <laughs> I have moved bunks. Uh, I moved to the one right next door. And the handle works. Check this out. Boom, easy. Yes, I like it. All right. Anyways, after my freedom, I actually walked down a bit to check out some of the other coaches and carts. And this one is m considered one of the nicer ones because there was one that smelled like alcohol and then you can just, you like kind of peeked inside because there's people inside so I try not to, you know, make it too obvious, but it was not the greatest. Um, but I want to show you guys the second class sleeper because the second class sleeper was actually cleaner than a lot of the first class sleeper. Blankets and the pillows, um, it's all a little bit different in each of the coaches, so there's not a lot of consistency. Pop open this puff corn, and then we can take a little tour in it. Okay, I'm in a hard sleeper room, which is a second class sleeper, and you can tell it's three beds. It's honestly not that bad. It looks just pretty much the same as the first, except there's three beds. So I can only see the con being if you were like sleeping on that one. That one's pretty close to the ceiling. Some space here. The blanket is way better than the one um, in my room. Okay, it's about 10 p.m. Turn on the lights and there are cockroaches. Here's one and there's another one behind my pillow. 